Hi everybody! In today's video, I am going to show you how I reorganized our playroom. So this room is what I used to call our school room, our preschool room, whatever. But my kids are older now and we have not been using it as a school room as of late. Because both of my kids are in public school, we have not been doing as many like structured activities. It's just been more about having open-ended play and having educational resources for them to have access to but there's definitely not been anything structured in quite a while so because of that i decided to make some changes i got rid of some furniture i moved things around and so now we're just really wanting this to be a playroom that's just full of opportunities for them to play with purpose if you would like to see how it was set up before for when we were doing structured play with preschool activities, then I will leave that video linked up above and down below in the description box for you to check out when you're finished with this one. All right, enough talking. I'm going to get behind the camera and give you guys a tour. All right, everybody. So this is our playroom slash my office, if you want to call it that. Um, so I am in the doorway right now just to give you kind of the grand view here. Um, so once I go inside, I'm going to shut the door. So here is my craft desk. This is as clean as I was able to get it. <laughs> um, this place is actually more of a dumping ground. I haven't been able to craft in a long time. But that's what is in that corner. So behind the door, we actually have a little makeshift bulletin board and a whiteboard and so this is just black fabric with Dollar Tree border on it and then I have these um, wipeable page protectors here you can get these at Dollar Tree or the Target Dollar Spot kind of around back to school time and so in there we just keep some of the, the charts and stuff that we're working on right now then down below is the whiteboard that I believe we got from Costco for about $10. We got that several years ago, so I really don't remember that much. And then right in front of that is our little school bus bench that I got at the 99 cent store. And right now it has my laptop on it. But inside is where we keep kind of their electronics type devices. So we have a CD player, their hot dots, um, Magna Doodle type thing. And then in the front is where all of their dry erase markers and magnets are. Um, so I really love this thing. And this top part is actually cushioned so that it's a bench for them to sit on. I absolutely love this thing. It was about $5, I think, at the 99 cent store. All right, guys, I just started and I'm already out of breath. So now we are going to come around this way. So I decided to move all of their board games over here onto this metal rack that we have. They were all the way in the top of the closet um, because when they were younger, I didn't want them to have access to them because I was afraid they'd constantly be dumping them and making a mess every chance they got. But now that they're older, Michael has been trying to, well, and successfully, climbing up to reach them and bring them down. And I just wasn't comfortable with that anymore. So now that they're older, I brought them down to where they can reach them and access them whenever they want. So here are all of their board games that we love. And it's been great having them down, easily accessible so that we can play all the time. Then going up, we have an art display board. But right now it just holds some medals that Michael has gotten. We have a simple clock up there from Target. And then we have our... Well, I used to call our preschool cabinet, but now I guess I just need to call it the cabinet <laughs> because we're really not doing preschool anymore. Um, on the side here is just an organizer for all my tags for when I do gift wrapping and stuff. But anyway, so on the inside of this cabinet, this is what it looks like. I'm trying to back up so you can get a full view here. This is what we're working with. I organized or reorganized in here as well. So on top, we have the box of toddler and preschool items. I did a whole video on that where I took all of the items that my kids have outgrown and put them in, these, in this box. So if you'd like to see that video, again, I'll link it up above and down below. Then we have a couple of boxes there of just extra resources. And then in this basket are random... Let me pull it down so you can see. Oop. So 
inside this basket is just a bunch of our chunky, random things that are in here. And so that's really just the best way I've found to store those types of things. Now that has to stay here because I cannot lift that up with one hand. So now back inside of the cabinet. So we'll start at the top here. We have this pull out, oops. We have this pull out drawer full of flashcards. We have a box of cookie cutters and then a box of paint and brushes and bingo markers. And then over here we just have a little organizer for extra workbooks and random odds and ends really. Then we have some boxed resources here. We have our 10 blocks, a money game that I don't want them to get into, a stamp activity that I just got at Goodwill recently, and then this game that goes hooks up to the TV. So that's what's on top of there. Then in the middle shelf, which is probably my favorite, we have our subject boxes. We have activities that have to do with language, fine motor, math, and then all of our little miniature creatures and stuff. Then inside of here is this cardboard paper organizer. I previously was using this to organize all of our puzzles, our chunky puzzles and things like that, um, but I recently decluttered some puzzles and so it was uh, empty in a lot of the shelves and I felt like it was a waste at that point. So I decided to put it in here. So now we have printer paper and cardstock. We have our uh, phonics box or alphabet box with objects for each letter. Again, I've done a uh, video on this if you'd like to see how I put that together. I'll link it above and down below. Then we just have some craft supplies. Uh, this is our box of craft supplies like glitter glue and googly eyes and things like that. Then we have paper plates and canvases. Then we have construction paper and just an envelope full of all their stickers. Whew. Then on the side here, we have all of our giant papers, our felt boards, our sticker packs. Oh, you're not even going to be able to see all that. All right, so that is the middle shelf. Now we have two more shelves to go. So this one has all of our smaller educational games and then some uh, sight word and like easy reader type books. Then in this box, we have some card games, um, kind of... A Dominoes, Busy Box down there, Brain Quest, Memory Games, just random odds and ends in this as well. Then we have our coin container. This is all of our counters. I got this container from the 99 cent store as well and absolutely love it. So there's all of our manipulatives. And then over here we have some more containers with more manipulatives and some fine motor sensory tools. Then in the bottom here, we have my DIY, uh, what is this called? The spindle box. Again, I have a video on that as well. Then we just have some wooden blocks and some flashcards. And then this is our crate of sensory materials for when I put together sensory bins. This is just how I store it. It's been the easiest way to do it. All right, now coming over to this wall, I guess I'll start at the top. We have some decorations that are left over from an old birthday party that actually came from the Dollar Tree and I just love them in here. Why throw them away when it took so long to put them together, right? So I put them in here. Then we have our ABC letters that came from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. Then we have our felt maps that again came from the Target Dollar Spot. I love these. And I just think maps are a cool decoration to put up. So we have that up above our shelf here as well. So now moving on to the shelf itself. <laughs> um, people ask me all the time where I got this and I actually got it from a yard sale. So I have no other information on it. Um, it does have a little tag on here from the brand Batat, which I actually love that brand and we have several things of toys from that brand. But when I have tried to look up this shelf on Google, uh, nothing has come up. So I don't have any information other than I got lucky on it. So on top here we have these magazine holder boxes from the Dollar Tree. 
and they are just full of the current workbooks and coloring books and things like that that we are working on. So this one is for Aiden, and then we have one over here for Michael. So in the middle, we just have their regular supplies, glue, markers, things like that. And then here are just some smaller ones, like the Color Wonder markers and things. So, in my last tour, the thing that was on this wall was a double uh, school desk. And so, that is the piece of furniture that I got rid of. Um, we weren't using it because we weren't doing school activities anymore. And it was literally just a dumping ground. So, every time I cleaned, that desk was just covered in stuff and I was tired of it. So, that's what I got rid of. Um, and I sold it at consignment sale. So now we put this shelf back on this wall where it originally was. And I think this is where it's going to stay forever because it just works best for us. So I'm hoping they won't turn the top of this into a dumping ground either. But we will see. Oh my gosh, I am so out of breath and I'm shaky a little bit. It's the morning time. I've only had some powdered donuts <laughs> for breakfast. So I'm feeling shaky i'm so sorry if this video ends up shaky i have the camera on a stick right now to try and reduce it but i can see on the screen that i'm still shaking a little bit so i'm really sorry about that okay so inside of this shelf here we have their clipboards um they just got these color wonder packs so that's what they've been working on recently so both of them just have that going on here and then each one of them has one of these boxes that, again, came from the 99 cent store. And it just has their miscellaneous little notebooks and, you know, activity boxes and things like that inside of those. So we'll see how those work out. We had it done differently before with open baskets before. So now I'm putting them in these boxes. So we'll see how that works. Then to the right here, we have some pretend play set up with their cash register and their microwave. Then inside of their drawers are just open-ended activities. So in the first one, we have Lincoln Logs. Then we have these, um, what are these, foam blocks that came in this kit called Cool Builds. We actually got this um, from his aunt that she got from a school book fair. Um, and so they love using these as um, construction materials or they pretend like it's garbage for their garbage trucks. And then lately they've been pretending to play uh, Gold Rush. My husband watches the show Gold Rush. So they have all these little yellow Legos in here pretending that this is gold and they use their excavators to dig for gold. It's been really cute. So then inside of here, we have their train set, which they haven't touched in such a long time. So I'm trying to decide if I want to pack that away or just go ahead and leave it here. Um, and inside of here is all of their Play-Doh and a random Black Panther thing here. Um, so all of their Play-Doh supplies and sets, which again, they haven't really been playing with in quite a while. So I need to pull that out again and remind them that it's here. And then over here we have all of their play food and cooking utensils and supplies and stuff. So this is really kind of our major open-ended play area. All right, then next to our shelf is our new Little Tykes um, STEM Junior, what is it called? The Wonder Lab, I think is what it's called. They had these at Target um, before Christmas. And then after Christmas, when they did their toy clearance sale, these ended up going for 70% off. Um, so they were originally $120, I think, and we got them for 30 something. So we actually picked up three of them um, in hopes to keep one and resell the other two to make a profit. Um, and we did sell one of them, but we still have an extra one that we're holding on to to try again at the next consignment sale. So we'll see how that goes. But we've actually really been enjoying this. So the boys love playing um, scientist with it and doing potions. Um, so I guess that would be more wizardry, but they love making potions. Um, and so this whole thing, I could probably do a separate review on this. Um, table if you want me to so leave a comment down below if you'd like to see like what all you can do with this thing um, 
but it is really cool and I like having it here. Um, I've always wanted to get the kids a play kitchen and we just have never been able to do it. So this is kind of um, another version of that that's obviously not the same thing, but it gives the same type of pretend play that I was hoping for. And with it, it does come with science experiments that you can do that are a lot of fun. This is actually the only one we've done so far, but the boys loved it and they made a huge mess. But we brought this into the kitchen, which is another great thing. You can easily move it around. So we brought it into the kitchen and they just had a blast for a couple of hours with this thing. So it's been a lot of fun to have in here. And that's enough on that. Let's move on. All right, we're almost done, you guys. I am now sitting on the floor because I got tired. So here is what the closet looks like. We took off the sliding doors so that this is open. And here is what it looks like all the way at the top. So I guess I'll start at the top here. This is all of our adult board games um, that we really don't play with anymore. But when we were dating, we played board games all the time. Um, but it's just nearly impossible to do now. But there's all of our adult board games. And then I have extra containers and then all of our baskets and trays and things like that that we used for structured preschool activities and trays. Um, but like I said, we're not really doing that anymore, so I put them in those big boxes and put them at the top of the closet. Under that, to kind of um, decorate, I guess, this empty space, I put up some twine and the clothespins that you can actually get from the Dollar Tree to do a little artwork display area for the boys, um, which Michael just noticed this morning and he loved it. So, um, so that's going to be fun to put up all of their artwork. And then we have their old um, space mobile that came from Dollar Tree over there as well. <sighs> Under that, we have my little um, felt letter board that came from the Target Dollar Spot quite a while ago. And that is actually um, a message that Aiden put up all by himself that he's very proud of because he wanted to tell us all that he loves us. How sweet. All right, so now I will show you the rainbow cart. Um, I actually don't know that I've changed too much in here. Again, I've done a separate video showing you exactly what's in here, but I guess I'll just go through it quickly because I don't remember what all was in it when I did that video. <laughs> so I might have changed some things. So on top here, we have a globe that we got at Goodwill, and we love it. It's one of these electronic ones, interactive things. Um, so I love that. So, inside of the cart, well, the cart itself came from Michael's around Black Friday time for $20 a few years ago, and this is probably my favorite thing in this entire room. I just absolutely love this thing and would highly recommend it to anyone for organizing this kind of stuff. So, inside we have the Learning Resources Alphabet Acorns. We were playing with that yesterday. Inside we kind of have a miscellaneous drawer of magic tricks and some blocks and the little off Dollar Tree light bright situations. Okay. Then we have uh, a couple of Goldie Blocks sets in here. They actually, I think this might be one of the drawers they play with the most. Then we have magnet tiles and the Tegu uh, magnetic blocks. Uh, I don't remember what these are called, but we have these things. Then we have a drawer with kind of some games in it. We have a Spot It game, their Balance Beans, just some Tic-Tac-Toe, just some random little games. We have our wooden blocks here, Unifix cubes and Snap Cubes. We have some lacing things here. This is a lacing tree. Uh, this is marbles. Um, so we had this drawer full of all their other lacing cards and things. Um, but now that my boys are older, we put that away, um, in that box on top of the cabinet. So now this is the only one we have left just because it's the more difficult one. And it's something that they still play with. And then in the last one, we just have their Melissa and Doug pattern block set here. And then underneath we have their, um, foam alphabet tiles that came from the 99 cent store all right then next to that we have their shopping cart and it's just got some random little toys in there it looks like and their little blow-up globe all right 
Okay, so moving on to this shelf over here. This area is about puzzles, some different toys and resources here, and then we have some drawers on the bottom. The shelf itself came from uh, Big Lots for $25, I think it was, again, a few years ago when we first moved here, and I absolutely love it. Um, if you can find one, I think that this thing is really helpful for organizing this kind of stuff. Um, so I would recommend it. So, uh, I guess I'll just start on the bottom here since I'm already here. So in the drawer, we have character toys, which is my favorite drawer. I've mentioned several times. I collect all these toys. This is really my obsession, but the kids play with it too, but I... This is my happy place right here. I don't know why. I just think it's so much fun. <sighs> then in this drawer, we have all of their animal figures that come from Dollar Tree or this was a pack on Amazon. Uh, just random animal type figure toy things. <sighs> so on this shelf i think it's so cute and i'm so glad to have a little area to display this stuff so this is a puzzle that i had on top but these items were too tall to fit in here so i had to switch them so we have a space puzzle that i actually just got from goodwill and i absolutely love it i think they sell this brand at uh target so if you can find it i would definitely recommend getting this this is so cute. So it has the floor puzzle, but then it also comes with these little, what I'm calling puppets, because I don't know what else to call them, but you uh, put these little things together for a little 3D experience and you match them to where they go on the puzzle. It's so cool. And this is a hundred piece, which I think is right up the boy's alley right now. So I love this thing. Very happy I got that. So then we have our sensory bottles back here. Again, I've done a video on that that I can link to. We have a little treasure chest with some gold coins inside. Um, we have our learning resources microscope, a little game here, our timer, little abacus, and our leapfrog factory thing. And then my DIY wreck and wreck arithmetic rack things that I have also done a video on. On the next shelf, we have puzzles. So we just have our larger Melissa and Doug and other brand of puzzles here. And then we have a basket of our jigsaw puzzles over here. Whew. Then on top, we have some, these are the letters for the letter board. Then we have our clock that's missing a number. It drives me nuts, I can't find it. Then we have two more sensory bottle activities there. And then we have all of our puzzles. So um, on the side here is where I put our large floor puzzles that we've had forever. Um, at this point, the boys, boys are too old for them, but they're gonna stay here because I have nowhere else to store them. And I think putting them here worked out great. Then we have a Melissa and Doug floor puzzle that again is space. So we actually had that one first. I got it at Black Friday at Walmart for $5 and I love it. But then we got this one at Goodwill recently, and I like this one more. So I don't need two space puzzles. So what I'm planning on doing is giving this Melissa and Doug puzzle to one of you guys. So I'm going to do a hidden um, giveaway here in this video, and it's actually going to be my first ever giveaway because I've been too um, intimidated to do it before, but I think it's time <laughs> to at least try so, all it is is this puzzle, nothing exciting, but I'd love to give it to one of you guys that are interested in it. So, if you would like to receive this puzzle, then leave a, I don't know what kind of emojis there are, but if there's like an earth emoji or some sort of spacey emoji, then put it down below or just say I'm interested because I don't know what kind of emojis there are. Um, but leave a comment down below if you would like to receive this puzzle. And then to get more entries, you can also do it over on my social media accounts um, of Instagram and Facebook if you'd like more entries. And so at the end, I will collect everybody's names and put it in a little thing on the internet that picks a winner. And I will um, send the winner an email or message or something. Again, it's my first time. I don't really know how to do giveaways. So... Um, definitely check out the description box for all of the official details. The only thing I know for sure is that I want to have it open for two weeks. So I'm planning on putting this video up on June, nope, May 27th 
um, 2019 for those that might be watching later. Um, and then we'll close it on June 7th because that is the last day of my kids' school. I have two weeks open. I figured that would be good. So that's all the details I have so far. But if you'd like to see the actual rules of the giveaway, check out the description box below. So if you're interested in it, let me know. Woo, that was a long explanation for all that. Okay, so then we have our puzzle box here. This actually came from my mother-in-law. I think it's just been in the family for, you know, decades maybe. That's the vibe I get. I could be wrong. But we got it from her. And so inside we have some vintage puzzles. And then we have just some of our Melissa and Doug magnetic ones here. It's just full of puzzles. And then I put the chunky puzzles up on top. And then, you know, just some other ones. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. So that is all of that. All right, so that was the tour of our playroom. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh my goodness, I'm exhausted now. I'm so out of breath. It's time to go take a nap.